Uh, uh, uh.
<laughs> yeah, it's cool. I, I was thinking before this that this is maybe one of the the first ones of these that I've done where like we've never played together yeah. at all, like ever. Like, yeah. <laughs> like we met at a gig and, and saw each other play, but um, haven't actually played together. So it's it's like an interesting thing of of like when you play with someone that you've never played before, where it's part of it is like getting to know each other, yeah. but then at the same time you also don't want to just do like. A, musical greetings like oh hello my name is my name is Bob because that's that can be a little boring um yeah or uh, to show off yeah <laughs> I can do this thing <laughs> yeah I think that's part of it too like the um I guess I, I mean I don't know what your experience is with with the vocals but I guess there's like um you can have like a range of techniques or things that you can yeah. do that it's like I don't know, like, how do you feel about, like, playing with other people as a vocalist? Like, do you want to show the tricks or do the showing off stuff? Or, like, what what is your focus when you're when you're performing with it? Yeah. Um, no, I don't want to show the tricks. Yeah, <laughs> that's not interesting at all, I think. Um, I just want to not be a vocalist, actually. Like, trying to be another kind of, of instrument. Yeah, I have a microphone. Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, but I I don't try to to show the tricks. I I try to not think about my tools because if I'm thinking like yeah, I use this tool now I'm going to use the next tool. I know I I I know how to use. It's not going to be what I'm reacting to what I'm listening. It's going to be what Ines can do. So, yeah. yeah. I tried to get away from the play. Yeah, I mean, it, it's, I guess, similar for me, like, particularly when I, like, the setup that I thought for this that might be interesting to do is I have, like, it's almost like a drum machine or whatever, like a weird drum yeah. machine, <laughs> that setup that, that I can control, I can do some stuff, but it, it um, I don't have as much control as I would with something like the snare, yeah. where I can be a lot more subtle, but the, like, going in and out of material that, um, I guess I know, like, some of the patterns or whatever that I've, I've programmed in it. it doesn't really work that way but i know what some of the sounds i can get but then at the same time not wanting to just switch between these things like here's the thing that i can happen here's the next thing that can happen yeah. but still kind of following what's happening musically and then i guess for this performance like i guess there was um some stuff where we ended up in like kind of melodic thing yeah. where like I, I found some notes here and here and then like there was, yeah, that was really interesting yeah. like some nice kind of harmonic stuff which i wasn't massively expecting like i know i can get some of those sounds with the combs but they're um a little bit more chaotic and hard to kind of control yeah but, but it was cool because the uh, the pitch that happened there was in my tone yeah, yeah. i was like he's is he controlling <laughs> the harmony wow <laughs> um cool. yeah no it's really hard to yeah it happened really perfectly yeah. and it was like i was like okay I'll, I'll like there was a moment where it almost felt like we were we could have finished the first part but then I was like, okay, hold on, I've got this note. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stay here a little longer. Like, let's uh, let's keep going with this, um, just because it happened to fall perfectly. And I, I have a little bit of control, but like, I I can mainly control harmonics. Yeah. So like, if it's okay. in a different key, like I can't I can't do anything about that. It just happened that like uh, we were in the same harmonic space, which was kind of really <laughs> really cool yes. to play along with. <laughs> yeah, and it's interesting because I never saw I saw you play uh, two times mm -hmm. live. Yeah. But I never saw that uh, <laughs> toy. <laughs> yeah. So I wasn't expecting this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, it's something that's been interesting for all of these. Because for me, I, I mean, I've been playing in all of them. So that's that's one thing, like a constant. But because I play a lot of instruments and I have a lot of stuff here, 
I kind of try to think about um, what I want to do with each person. So like, okay, like in 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 uh, hearing your perform, I was like, okay, it might be interesting to have like some kind of like rhythmic background there. And I was like, okay, I, I'll set some of that up just to see how that kind of goes. And then I was like, okay, I could do some stuff with the combs and get some textures. And I kind of tried to think of what would work well as an instrument yeah. in in this kind of duo. Where when I like, if I was to play live or I was to do a solo show today. I probably wouldn't do this. I mean, I might, but like I tend to do something else. Um, so this is kind of a, an opportunity to explore some ideas or explore some yeah. instruments or combinations that I don't always use. <laughs> <laughs> but I think that it came out with some interesting bits there. Like I quite like. Yeah, the... I really enjoyed it. Yeah. <laughs> well, good bits. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, shall we play some more? Yeah, let's go. You'll be a dark star like so many places under the trees you'll be a dark star like so many places under the trees you'll be a dark star like so many places under the trees you'll be a the dark star like so many places under the trees you'll be a dark star like so many places under the trees you'll be a dark star like so many places under the trees you'll be a dark star like so many places under the trees you'll be a dark star like so many places under the trees you be a dark star like so many places under the trees you be a dark star like so many places under the trees you be a dark star like so many places under the trees If people become like people's ideas, what happens if people become like people's ideas? What happens if people become like 
people's ideas What happen if people become like people's ideas People's ideas People's ideas People's ideas What happens if people become like people's ideas? Like people's ideas Like people's ideas people's ideas too many years in ignorance and so many virgins are not longing for love because there's too little fantasy in what makes you a warrior what happens if people become like people's people's ideas like people's people's ideas like 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 what happens if people become Ideas, ideas, ideas.